Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be talking about our three best-selling teas. And those are our Guayusa, our Kerber, and Coco Chai. And today we are going to show you guys how we use them. We're going to describe the flavor and aromas of each and maybe even have a little tea party. We're going to start from left to right, starting with our Kerber. Our Kerber contains hibiscus, elderberry, and red currant. The smell is slightly sweet with a bit of tang, which I like. And the antioxidants in our Kerber makes it a super inflammation fighting tea. And that's because it has a ton of antioxidants. So now moving on to our Guayusa. Our guayusa is actually harvested from the rainforest of the Amazon. Our guayusa tea is actually harvested from the holly tree, which yerba mate is also harvested from. So the guayusa has a very earthy, kind of almost green tea smell, um, but it smells really good. Very mild and um, you can just kind of like smell the antioxidants. And in fact, did you know that Guayusa has twice as many antioxidants than one cup of green tea? And its flavor complex is very smooth, kind of like yerba mate, but without the bitterness. And last but not least, we have our coconut chai. And our coconut chai has ginger coconut flakes, cloves, safflower, and a dash of chili. It is caffeine free and has a hint of sweetness without actually being sweet. And the best part about it is this is my favorite tea to go to whenever I'm trying to curb my sugar cravings. And the ginger and the chili give it a little dash and a little bite, which is actually really nice. So I'm just gonna show you guys, since this is loose leaf tea, how to make your own loose leaf tea, and we're gonna use the coconut chai since it is my favorite, and have ourselves a little tea party. So I wanted to talk to you guys really quick about why making loose leaf tea is better and healthier for you than doing bag tea. So loose leaf tea is exactly what we sell. It doesn't come in a tea bag. And the reason we sell it like this is because often tea bags actually contain a ton of chemicals. They'll be made with papers that are made with pesticides or those fancy little mesh sachet tea bags that you'll find in the fancy teas. Those are often made out of plastic. And if you guys know about anything about BPA, BPA is actually something that's really bad. It's a chemical that comes from plastic and it's really bad when you combine plastic with hot water because that causes the BPA to leach. So if you're using one of those little tiny fancy sachet bags and putting them in hot water, you might be actually drinking some nice BPA tea. Ew. Once again, um, loose leaf tea is more healthy. It's healthier for you and it also tastes better because when because tea leaves actually need room to expand and that actually enhances their flavor. So we're gonna show you guys really quick, quick how to do a pour over for some loose leaf tea. We've got our strainer here. We've got a little makeshift um, tea bowl. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to pour your loose leaf tea into the strainer. That's a lot because I like mine really strong. Um, and we're just going to get your hot water and just slowly in circle motions pour the hot water around the tea leaves. And something that's actually called rinsing the tea leaves, I believe, is when you move the water stream up and down to kind of let the tea leaves have even more room to breathe. I'm not the expert at this um, tea ceremony, guys, but I've been to one and I'm pretty sure it's what they did. But either way, it does enhance the flavor because it allows the tea leaves to expand more. So now we're gonna let this just steep for about 
three to four minutes, depending on how much water you, you, you're using and how much tea leaves you're actually using. Um, probably, if you're using about a tablespoon of tea leaves, you'll want to let it steep to three to four minutes. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little tea party with me. I had this tea party by myself because that's how much I love tea and that's how tea makes me feel. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications because we've got so much exciting stuff coming up and you guys will not want to miss it. Also, special welcome to our new subscriber, Jamie. Hey Jamie, welcome to Wild Foods. Thanks again, guys. We always appreciate your support, and we will see you next time. Bye.